Thank you, Conrad. If you are diagnosed with Lyme disease or had COVID, you may have developed dysautonomia. Did I say that right? Very good. Yes, <laughs> with more than 200,000 cases diagnosed each year. And here to tell us more about this disorder is Nurse Christina Perez. So thank you so much for joining us and telling me how to properly pronounce Absolutely. that. Because that is definitely it is. a mouthful. It is. It's a tough word. So. It is a hard one. Yes. Yeah. So can you tell us exactly what dysautonomia is and how it's caused? Sure. So... It is actually a, um, it's damage to our autonomic nervous system. Mm. So Got a lot of big words today. It is. Okay. So that's the nervous system that controls your heart function, your blood pressure, your digestion. Oh, goodness. Um, so these are things that we don't consciously think about. We don't have to make our heart, you know, think, okay, beat. It just, right, does, it just it does it automatically. I, mean, I think I've caught Jackie over there reminding her heart to beat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes, sometimes. Um, but as you said, it's, it's very common. Um, and it, it can be caused by things like, um, like Lyme disease mm -hmm. um, and, um, and long COVID. It's associated with that too. But there's other causes too, like pastoral orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Uh -huh. oh, That's a big oh mouthful. Gosh. Right? And it affects women five times more than men. And you would know if you had what we call POTS. Um, so if you don't know the word, you've probably never been diagnosed, you're fine. <laughs> but it, I'm just saying there's other, there's a lot of yeah. things that can cause it. So are there any symptoms commonly associated with dysautonomia? There are actually. So postural hypotension. So that's when you mm. go from sitting to standing and all of a sudden you get really lightheaded um, and mm. you faint or pass out. Um, exercise intolerance. So people who just really mm. cannot exercise. Um, mm -hmm. Sweating abnormalities. Now, this is not your normal menopause, postmenopausal sweating, but excessive sweating or not sweating enough. Mm -hmm. So, if it's really hot out and you notice, hey, look, I know I should be cooling my body off and I'm not, there might be a problem there. Um, urinary dysfunction. So, people who are having to get up a lot at night to go to the bathroom, um, maybe they're hesitant. You know, they, they go to sit down to go to the bathroom and nothing happens, things like that. So, um, Blurry vision and um, paresthesia, which, which is like numb, numbness or tingling to your hands and feet. So those are some of the different symptoms of the different types of um, dysautonomia. Interesting. And then can this be prevented or like if you already have it, is there any way to treat it? <clears throat> So it's it's caused you know one of the big ones besides the the COVID or yeah the COVID and the Lyme mm -hmm. disease is things like diabetes and deconditioning HIV um, B1 B3 B6 or B12 vitamin deficiencies so and there's there's a whole bunch more um, but those are the the big things that you know you want to try to prevent. It, it, is the best way mm -hmm. to treat this. There's really no cure mm -hmm. for dysautonomia. So if you develop it, you wanna go and talk to your doctor, they'll do things like a tilt table test, they'll monitor your response um, to your blood pressure when you're sitting, standing, lying, things mm -hmm. like that. Um, they can do thermal regulation, so checking your temperature, making sure that you're um, regulating your temperature right. properly. Mm. Um, and then, of course, just treating your high blood pressure with medication, maintaining healthy weights, controlling diabetes, um, seeking treatment for alcoholism. Um, that's a big one that, you know, alcohol, it, it can cause so much inflammation in mm -hmm. the body. While it's all fine for moderation, but if you drink heavily, think of the long-term effects that that's gonna have on your body. And really, I would in encourage people to try to seek help now, early mm -hmm. on, to, to try to avoid long-term effects of these. So, right. yeah, yeah, maintaining a, a healthy body is probably the best way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Definitely interesting yes. and a lot of big words today, but hopefully, big words. You know, but hopefully <laughs> everyone just kind of understood. <laughs> yes. So again, yeah, thank you so much for coming in and kind of explaining this. Yes, we really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, my and pleasure. Then, <laughs> coming up, we have what's trending, including the 